Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States Navy, episode number 42 maybe, 42-ish. So we had that really uh, ugly defeat in the last episode and the question is how do we respond? Um, first of all we should ask, is the British Navy sticking around? And you can see that they have at least one dreadnought still there, so the answer is somewhat yes. Um, and I think that I'm going to heed the advice that I got, that we can move the Philippines to defend their namesake. I kind of like that from a lot of different standpoints, uh, role-playing, and uh, it also seems to be a good place for the Philippines. It's kind of, um, it, it's one of the older ships. The Mount Rainier is another uh, solid option, but we'll keep that one in the Caribbean with the uh, Yosemites. The Yosemites, thankfully, have been the ones mostly doing the fighting. But that's quite a few points, and although we don't really need more acquisitions in the Caribbean, when would you ever say no to yet another invasion? So, uh, we'll just see what happens. And the message popped up I missed last time, the one I clicked through was the president saying I had too much money and giving some of that money to the army. So, and the commissioning of all these submarines is actually going to increase my monthly balance. So we'll probably end up building a couple more democracy class ships. Once again, I missed that. Okay, we're doing prize rules, so our ships, our submarines should not be sinking any large liners, but it happened. Okay. Ooh, hit a mine. Five months, that's quite a long time. I don't want to do enemy coastal raids. Hmm, okay. Well, let's go ahead and build another ship, because, you know, the game is basically telling me spend money faster. The next one up the list was the main. Did we, we didn't have a main already? No, I guess not. So the main it is. Democracy, main build. Just to drop that budget even faster. Okay, and we have submarines. How many do we have now in service? The 85 reliability is quite good. We have 46. Uh, I think we'll build another swath of them. What did I get? I got normal submarines. Okay, I think I like that idea. Just get 10 more. And 10 more after that. So minus 30 million, <laughs> so it's not easy. It's not difficult to find a way to blow your your money. Okay, cruiser action. Where is this Caribbean? Yeah, we'll accept that as well because I think we only have battle cruisers there. <laughs> oh, I guess we have the the class, the old class, Galveston. Okay, so that's unfortunate. Okay, there it is. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is, I think, a captured American base. These are what kind of ships? The Benny class, okay. So if this is a destroyer, they're good. If it's not, they're not ideal. This could be uh, an armored cruiser, it could be a battle cruiser. It's turning very quickly, so. We're going with the premise that it is a light cruiser. Yeah. Destroyer also fits the bill. Just that turning so quick. Okay, the Benny class. This is where they are supposed to shine. So, shine. Let's see, a few hits. Yeah, we should be able to get them. I think that's it. Okay. Hooray, hooray. That's, uh, we only fight one battle per month, so once we get that one battle going, we know that <laughs> that's it for this month. Hmm. Okay, so our Philippines now are there. As in, ooh. Last army offensive. 
has been reasonably excess successful. 400 victory points, yes! Yes! It's like 0.05%, something like that. With a literal, <laughs> if you were watching my, this is the exact pop-up that we missed. Um, an army in dire need equipment allocates money. Hmm. Okay, we knew it was gonna happen eventually. Now, budget issues are gonna become a very big problem, but we're only given four points. The best thing for us to do, theoretically, I mean, not just theoretically, literally, <laughs> the mathematical best thing for us to do is not to take any provinces. Um, and, and frankly, we took most of the places that I would want to, and places like Nova Scotia costing five instead of four means I can't take them anyway, which is really unfortunate. Like Jamaica is another one I would be happy to take. Um, I kind of want to encourage them to go to the Caribbean because it's a, a home zone for me. The places that I would probably want to steal would be Southeast Asia. Uh, I, Malta, that's really interesting. Do I want a base in the Mediterranean? Probably not. Let's stay consolidated. Burma's the only one they have, which is four points. Is Burma considered Indian Ocean, or is it considered... I think I looked at this, and this is Indian Ocean, so we probably don't want it. I think we're just going to take the funds. Okay, I mean, they're making me <laughs> second-guess my choices. I'm assuming Fiji and New Zealand are both in the South Pacific. We also don't want that. Falkland Islands would give us a possession in South America. Don't want that. British Columbia I would gladly take <laughs> if it weren't so many darn points. Hong Kong would be, that would be an appropriate choice. Again, Australia is that South one. Singapore is the other choice. So I think the two choices in Southeast Asia left are Singapore and um, Hong Kong. I don't think we can get either of those, unfortunately. Mm, yeah. Wow, they still have plenty of holdings, huh? So we'll take no possessions. Fiji was taken by Germany. That's actually pretty cool. It's going to hurt Germany, really, force them to extend. We're at minus 40 million, so we put, basically, <laughs> basically have 12 months. We have one year of spending left, and then we're toast. Okay, that's fine. We'll just do our best to raise funds very quickly. Let's take a look at the almanac and see how things shape up now. So despite all of our efforts, Brit the British are still technically ahead on Dreadnought count, very far behind in battle cruiser count. In fact, Only the um, German Navy can say that they have a better battlecruiser fleet, and not by much if you look at it in terms of tonnage. Like, we decimate everyone else, both Germany and the United States. I mean, that's why I kind of see them as the endgame opponent, Germany. Um, unfortunately, Germany doesn't have much in the way of dreadnoughts, so you take the good with the bad. Now, what does this mean in terms of ship stuff? I still cannot believe, it seems, seems like my game must be bugged or I'm incredibly unlucky that we don't have quality one six inch guns unlocked yet. Who do we want to go to war with? It's gotta be one of these, well, France? Does France have any holdings left worth taking? How far behind is France? Cause their budget, oh my gosh, their budget, oh my gosh. They were just, Destroyed, decimated, five and four. I mean, this is not, it's not a, something we can, we would want to compete with, because like we so outcompete them. We could even go to war with Japan. That would be mm, maybe less entertaining. It's fun to play as Japan. It's kind of fun to go to war with them. Oh, you know, sixteen-inch guns. Speak of the devil, right? That that is not. That's a pretty good battle cruiser. 
Oh, warships in Southeast Asia. What? What nonsense is this? Who did I move there? Okay, Fawn the Fawn Stoiben might need to be retired. We saw how ineffective she is in battle. We pretty much want to retire everyone back except for like the Grand Rapid class, which is pretty good. So let's move all you guys back to the west coast. Um, Ticonderogas, east coast, that's fine. Caribbean is fine. Southeast Asia, not. Oh, the lightnings I moved there. Huh. I forgot about that. Move you guys back to the west coast. Caribbean is fine. Let's put all my like ships together. Southeast Asia. Now, you guys probably are the ones that are going to stay. And you guys are going to stay. West Coast, Caribbean. Get you guys all to be in the Caribbean, I guess. Well, West Coast, no. Eh, eh. Somebody even recommended getting rid of the Galvestons. They're still not a bad ship. I mean, 27 knots. I, I don't see any reason to get rid of them. Let them die honorably in battle. So technically, I guess my West Coast cruiser is the Grand Rapids. And boy, actually, the Great Lakes have suffered some numbers, huh? So we'll get these guys to be in the Caribbean. We're down to... So maybe the next ship we make, I mean, not that we really have the money for it right now, but it's got to be the Great Lakes, which... A fantastic light cruiser. She served us very well. Okay, then we have the Farragut class, which can happily stay in all these different places we put her. Um, I think we can get the ones in the Caribbean to move out to Southeast Asia or Northeast Asia, or maybe both. The invader classes have to come home. Okay, the New Havens, we might as well equip them. <clears throat> I don't think we have any uh, destroyers that are really in terrible shape. This still has six torpedoes, so I'm still happy enough to save her. And just, re just redo it immediately. Oh gosh, oh, we're probably going to need to rebuild, I mean... Uh, how many minesweepers do we have? Because when the minesweepers go obsolete... They just, they just start getting scrapped. <laughs> so 1924, it's 1931. I think we're okay, usually eight years. It's the time I start seeing them get scrapped. So we'll do this. We're, we will rebuild all of them at the same time. I don't know, do I have to do them all in the same zone? it work? I was nervous about doing it. Okay, rebuild all these. Okay, that worked. Let's experiment with doing it with the two in different sea zones. Yeah, it worked. Okay, very good. So who's left? Southeast Asia? Oh, the invader class needs a, a an update. Okay, well, save immediately. Obviously don't want to do anything with them. Just keep them the way they are. They're not supposed to be fighting. They're just supposed to be fast enough to get away, which they... Nah, they really aren't, but we, we get lucky, right? Okay, so I think that's... Who needs a refit next? Galveston's need refits. They're at 1923. <clears throat> the Farragut's need refits. Probably the Farragut might just need to be retired. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's kind of like the worst of all worlds. It only has three torpedoes on one side. It has two four-inch guns. It served us a long time. I can't even remember when this vessel was first commissioned. 
Uh, maybe like 1910 or so, so it's been around for like 20 years. Hmm. Yeah, it begs the question, is it time to remove her? What's our destroyer situation like? I think we're way over. 56, yeah, we're, we are significantly higher than most other people. <clears throat> but I'm actually okay with that. I'm okay with being very torpedo heavy um, in these endgame engagements. Having a lot of destroyers just spreading tons of torpedoes. Now, Farragut's not going to satisfy that role. So I know that you guys are trying to move. We'll wait one turn, and when they're in the west coast, we'll probably stop them. Because they're just going to need to be sent back out. This is another one I think we just immediately save. Rebuild. Who else needs help? Cunningham classes, so we have some of those that need to be re retrofit. Whoops. To the latest. I just do that so that they're all in the same design, so I don't have to do two separate rebuilds. The Bennies look like they need to be rebuilt. Get in while the getting's good. Yeah, actually the Bennies probably could stand for better fire control. What's their speed? 32. They're already oil firing. We're not going to get a huge benefit. The best you can probably do for um, replacing machinery is at least replacing it when you're going from coal to oil. That probably nets enough of benefit to be worth it. I, it's really hard to think of a situation where the expense and the time is worth it otherwise. 1927, 1928. I messed that one up, I remember. Ticonderogas, well, they were built 1928. Oh, of course, that's where it says right here. The Grand Rapids Real Troopers built in the 1900s. Galveston's 1911. I already put in the destroyers, so we'll have to see when they come out. Hmm. Okay, well, just keep pushing. Oh gosh, here we go. Carpal tunnel syndrome. It would be nice if you could get a pop-up with all the ships which finish their reconstruction at once. Like just a long list, the same way they do the message log. You know, sorted from most important to least important, the same way it's done over here. Dreadnoughts, battle cruisers, light cruisers, armor cruisers, then destroyers and minesweepers. Okay, here we go. The Sukuba. It's the same one. It's a good it's a good ship. Here we go again. I'm afraid to click too fast. Oh my gosh, how many ships do we have? <laughs> Well, back in my day, we had to click enter through every single one before Rule the Waves 2 came out. Heaven help them, they don't fix it. Okay, so we're not gaining any advantages in explosive shells. What is this? Japan? We'll create tension with anyone. See, this is nice. A list. A separate list just to say that it happened with showing all the ships, and then maybe you don't even have to put it in the message log after that, or maybe you can still do it. Who knows? Oh, yeah, of course. We need to retrofit everyone with Advanced Director. And by everyone, I don't know who exactly I mean. Let me open the Cunningham design. I thought, did we end up changing anything? No, we ended up not doing that. Again, I'm still not sure whether or not Advanced Director... Um, I'm still not sure whether or not <clears throat> the better fire control helps with torpedoes. What I was trying to say there. Hmm. But yeah, any any of these ships. Well, that's right. We were waiting for the six-inch guns. Come on, six-inch guns. The Gals, the Grand Rapids is the only one that can can actually do it. But we can't actually put these out there because. <laughs> oh gosh, we need ships to replace them. Okay. Well, let's do the Philippines class first. We'll keep her around. Um, she needs advanced director. 
did not matter. Um, torpedo defense of one, very interesting. I think for some reason we can add. No, okay. We'll just close and redo. Okay, so we can do advanced director, and we still have a little bit of tonnage left. That if you don't do anything, it, it can still help. I mean, it still helps you not um, sink as quickly. So we might as well just leave it. Ah, that's right, six inch guns again. So who has the five inch secondaries? You, lightning. Okay, so let's do the upgrades on the lightnings. And I can also try to figure out the difference. I think I, somebody already mentioned this, I believe, but I think we went with lower armor on one of these or something. That's why the space difference. So anyway, um, 12, 3.5, two. I think we'll just do this as is. Everything else looks good. Wow, that is, a, that is a lot of weight. The only thing I don't like is the submerged mounts. They do lead to flooding. Ooh, that's close. What if we just get rid of the submerged mounts? I mean, this ship is supposed to be fast enough not to be able to use those anyway. And then can we increase both? Ah, perfect, okay. Let's not use d &E, though. Let's use F and G. There. So now this thing can actually launch torpedoes. And that's just as many tor torpedoes as it was going to have with, with the submerged mounts, but the benefit being that now this one won't have any flooding issues. I like that. Just sneak in a little bit of benefit where we can. Okay, that's 119.92. Now this one, it was like 12, yeah, you can see this was is lower than the other one. So, but four is higher. Let me open the latest. Lightning, oh gosh. <laughs> 12, 3.5, okay, so this is the one that got the upgrade then, which makes sense because this one doesn't have as much as, yeah, as many rounds per gun, which means that this one is actually well, we can probably get two torpedoes on it still. Yeah, okay, I like this. It's not bad. Slightly better top armor, which is fine. Probably wasn't necessary. I mean, I do like a turret to be <laughs> the most well-armored thing on my ship, but... I mean, considering the difference is five less rounds per gun, and one less torpedo per side. It's, I'd, I'd say it's a wash. It's not something we'll probably ever notice. They're both, they're effectively the same ship in my eyes. Okay, that's good. And uh, the Yosemites are also using the other design, the five inch guns, which is in this case, oddly enough, nice. Um, that's a lot of weight. Why were we able to get that much weight? That's weird, where, did, where does it come from? Or, and I mean the same situation here, more rounds per gun. I think we clear these mounts and just get two. Ah, can't quite do it. Um, basically I don't want, I don't really care about, wait, that is a lot of money. So it starts out at four and eight fifty eight just to, yeah, just to rebuild it, which is probably because the maintenance is so high seven twenty two just to sit in dock <laughs> okay, so we want advanced director that's non negotiable fifteen inch guns are the slowest firing as long with sixteen seventeen and eighteen they're all the slowest firing hundred fifteen is quite a quite a few rounds. Is it worth it? I still think I'd clear this and go up, and with the extra, we can't get two, but we can get one. I know it seems weird just to do this because we're effectively losing three, or sorry, two torpedoes per side, but it also does prevent, and we might as well put these amidship just because it's gonna look a little bit better. So, G, H and I, thank you. And 
one. Yeah, so it's not much. These are not supposed to be getting in and using torpedoes much anyway. We always see how they, you know, have a moment where they're really in need of doing it <laughs> in these low visibility fights, these knife fights. Um, yeah, the alternative is to go very, very heavy on the torpedoes and lower this to 115. Now, I actually can't remember the any of my battle cruisers or any of my dreadnoughts. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I, I can't remember any of my battle uh, battle cruisers or dreadnoughts running out of ammunition. So we can put four torpedoes, and this is probably more effective than the five extra rounds. So I like this. Okay, we'll do this for the U-70s. And now they are their complete end game status. There's nothing else we can really change or would want to. Except for, of course, having sent director. The game just couldn't wait for me to make that statement. Immediately spit in my face. Okay, well, that's good. Um, the Mount Rainiers can be... Nope, they have six-inch guns. Damn it. Okay, well... Boy, those funds can drop very quickly, can't they? Oh my gosh, here we go again. Um, yes, by all means, we could actually use the money. Okay, the Galvestons are actually obsolete now. <sighs> Whatever, I don't care. Yeah. Okay, the Summa class light cruiser. It's like they're preparing for war. Why would Japan be preparing for war in 1932 slash 1941? Uh, this is a damn fast ship at 31 knots. The fastest light cruiser I have, I think, is 29. Well, I think I have some in dock, but I see 29 for Great Lakes. And that's, yeah, that's my fast ship. Yeah, 29. Now, you'll notice that tracking down ships. 30 and 31 knots, having the Great Lakes basically any faster than it already is. I don't, I can't remember, I can remember several occasions where the Great Lakes got into escape situations or whatever, but it, it always had enough speed even with 29. So this might even be overkill. And that's something I'm sticking in the back of my brain for, you know, whenever I design light cruisers again. Save that one knot at least. I mean, 30, let's say 30 is the max for light cruisers, hands down. Because this is not Rule the Waves 2, and we don't, we, we're already like at the end game, so. Don't want to really go to war with France. Yes. What? What? Eleven, eighteen 18-inch guns. Oh my gosh, it looks so amazing. Okay, I didn't even realize we didn't have better... That could have been the 6-inch guns. Damn it, damn it, the Philippines class. I don't care about your quality one. Wait. No, Philippines class uses 14-inch guns. The only one is the Mount Rainiers. Yeah. <laughs> the only ship class that uses 13-inch guns. Every, almost every ship class uses 6-inch guns. Only one, three ships in total use the 13-inch guns. I'm sure that uh, it uh, didn't matter. Okay, those are finishing like pretty much right in the nick of time. Our negative 46 is, it's really hurting. Um, we will do whatever needs to be done to get, oh, that's not a lot of savings. Yeah, that is expensive. Nine times six. It's 54. Wow. I mean, our construct, I mean, that was a, wait, nine times six million would be 54. How could our construction be 57? I rounded this number up. 
It should be less than 54. It should be like 53 point something. And yet our construction is at 57.1, which is 3 million higher. Okay, I mean, 3 million would be screwed either way, but holy cow, we are in trouble. Enhanced training is really kicking our butt. 10 million, 10 million. Oh, maintenance. Okay, yeah, well, we can do something about that. We can definitely do something about that. We can put everyone in the reserve fleet. I think just everyone goes in the reserve fleet. Anybody who can, which are not the ones in Southeast Asia. And everyone else. Okay, probably should have done that the moment the war ended, but that'll save us one turn. And we're commissioning submarines, which is also gonna help. All right, so we're just right in the nick of time, it seems like, starting to neutralize the budget. We need one more year, and we're definitely not gonna get there with negative 25 million. Holy cow. All right, well, let's do, with, do away with any waste. What's our tonnage requirement here? 16 so anybody not necessary needs to come back home <laughs> 16 is three you guys okay so let's do this i know this is going to be a little bit weird but just for my so that the, it doesn't look ugly we'll send one here and then what's the amount 21 so one 21 we need four of these Okay, there's the four, and these guys are going to come home to the west coast, which is considered home waters and you pay less maintenance. Okay. Yeah, I like that. We can probably even mothball some of our ships, which does not help their fighting capacity at all. Um... Mount Rainiers are probably going to end up going... Let me put these on the west coast. They'll probably go to the Southeast Asia. West coast. Yeah, they have to go to active fleet to move. That's fine. So we'll mothball them there. I'll mothball the... Von Steuben. Yeah, it saved a lot. Empress of India looks a lot like the... Sakuba class that we looked at from the Japanese. Very similar. Slightly heavier armor. I think it's one knot slower. Which is a trade off I, I would find. Oh, now that I have no money. <laughs> at last. <laughs> oh my gosh, where am I going to get the money from? Well. Clearly, we're going to have to put the main on hold. And just preemptively, I'm going to put the red twilight on hold. Why do you ask? Because the ones that will finish faster will save, will give me the money to buy this one back faster. So that's what I'm thinking. I would love a disarmament conference if I didn't have all these dreadnoughts building. Okay, so other ways we can save money. I think we're gonna mothball the Philippines as well. It just didn't help at all. It's true, I'm choosing to mothball like the least expensive ships to begin with. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know if that was loud into the mic. Well, you know what? I think we're just going to call the episode to a close here. Yeah. We'll figure a way out of this. Um, we do have... How many Kingfishers do we have? Because that might be enough for us to go off of. Yeah, 48. That's a good number. I'm happy with that. Okay, well... Um... Probably gonna have to halt another one. 
Ooh, good. Germans are getting upset. And we'll have to halt yet another one even. And we should be okay now. Ah, good. They revoked our, t our alliance. Okay, good, good, good. Things are looking up. Only eight more months until the democracy comes and you can see that we're gonna need the money. Ah, yes, yes. Diplomatic note. All right, this <laughs> is just, just in the nick of time. So we can see that the red twilight, is it in this month? It wasn't, but the red twilight lost a month. I'm gonna resume the construction here. We'll squeak by with the, the minimum possible. Japan, tension's really going up with Germany too. Ah. Oh. Let me think. So what I'm, I, I'm, this is the first time I've really thought about this. Building another democracy class in 27 months at 10% discount on the total price. I think that the discount is just in the months. So it takes 30 months to build these. And if it builds it in 27 months, that's three months earlier, which is 10%. So I guess what it does is it puts the same cost per month and it just subtracts three months. Now, if I then choose to halt construction immediately, it is not a discount if this thing is halted at all in the six months I'm going to need to free up enough resources. But let's go ahead and do it anyway. And Oklahoma, no, it's gonna be the Ohio, I think. Oh, yes. Yes. So halt. And resume this one then? No, 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 let, don't, actually don't resume, just stay halted because we need to basically save a little bit of leeway for completing these. So let's see if this one gets back up to 28 or 29, in which case there is still a discount, albeit only a seven or 3% discount respectively, for how many months it has, uh, how many halts it has. Yeah, I think, so that's still something, I mean, because when you're talking about a $180 million ship, hell, even a 1% discount is $2 million. <laughs> so, okay. I know I, know I said I was going to stop, and now I'm, like, happy. Ooh, I don't want to go to war with Japan. That worked out well. Four more months. So the Rufus Dawes must have been, had some issues. I keep missing this. Like, why is this? Okay, five, six. Oh, gosh. I'd love all these options to call. Oh, my God. We're going to go to war with, we're going to go to war with Germany before we even know what's going on here. And all these six inch guns need to be rebuilt. Okay, let's slow down on the tension front. I do not want to go to war with Germany that quickly. And you know what? We can save a little bit of money. And we don't, there's like, I don't think there's any technology that we need. By the way, speaking of, 11 inch guns, 17, ah, oh, we do want the quality one 17 inch guns. It doesn't really matter though. We can probably put this on medium. And since nothing is on high, everything's on high. Uh, let's put all these on high, just to make sure that we've got all of them completely solved. And then ship design has this nice repeating benefit. Let's put ASW and submarines on high. I mean, we're probably just putting everything on high, aren't we? Put on that on medium. Fire control, I, I, I'm actually not sure, but that might be as high as you can go. What do we want on low? Do we want anything on low? Like, this is something I would want on high. Uh, 14 versus 13. I don't know which how many more there are. Yeah, 
Yeah, and we can always do subdivision and damage control. 15, that might be already maxed out. I have a feeling that we're missing some here, some more weight savings. Okay, we'll, we'll leave that hodgepodge of different choices. And we can actually resume one of these. Good. Well, well with, with time to spare. I'm going to get these finished as quickly as possible because if we can accept a peace conference and people scrap their building, what, 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 is anybody even building anything? No. Just almost no point to it. Probably just forget about it, stick with our plan, build huge ships. We have one more battle cruiser, which is supposed to be coming. That's going to be the either 16 or 17 inch, whatever we have quality one in. So if we don't have quality one and 17 inch, we'll just default to 16 inch battle cruiser and that's hey 16 inch guns we've already seen how effective those are right now we currently don't have anything but 16 inch and those were already just demolishing ships so max in publicity see there it is the rufus Dawes again another delay and every one of those delays is six million dollars six million you Crazy bastards. <laughs> Stop with the delays. Uh, okay, but enough time. So so we'll just click this one. Oh! It's done. Okay, so this is your battle cruiser. I'll see your battle cruiser, cruiser and I'll raise you a democracy class. What a behemoth. I like the feel of it. Look how wide it looks. It looks like it's just a a really, it really does look like a floating fortress. <laughs> wow, 15 inch turrets, that's, that's great. And that's also going to help keep our turrets active. One thing that uh, Blinson, or Battle Group Gamer, mentioned, which is true, if I just open this design as if I'm building it now, we haven't had any weight savings since the time we built this for, you know, three, four, uh, three years, three years, un just under three years. We could have gotten three or even four guns. It does a little bit of weight savings. I mean, I guess it, we could have snuck in another bit of rounds per gun. Uh, maybe it wasn't... Oh! What? Oh, if we open the design now, it would... Okay, so we actually have to rebuild the secondaries anyway. We can do exactly what I just looked, what I just did, but we'll wait for all of them to be under construction before we start diddling around with re rebuilds. And probably we have to start mobilizing our Navy out from the mothball <laughs> uh, status so that when we do go to war, we're ready. But until then, it's going to conclude this one, so... Thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.